Hello friends, uh, welcome to the third video of Ansys tutorial. In this video, we will see the uh, solid element of the O cross O cross element. We will see how to turn, means how to do mesh in the third uh, three D element. Okay, let's start. And in this video, we will go to the simply supported. In the next video, I will go to the canteen again. First, we will go to the footprints. Structural. Okay. Uh, Preprocessor element type we will select as per the manual. One eighty five is there for solid. Solid one eighty five brick eight now. Okay. In the options, you can change it to whichever you want. Okay, we will uh, we won't change anything in this settings. Okay. Close. Now you have to do uh, material selection, material model. That same procedure it was earlier in the previous videos. You can refer that previous videos. We will go with the uh, MM, uh, not the SI unit, so 200 to 10 is, uh, 2 into 10 is to 5. And the logo three. Okay. Nothing much change. Then after we'll, uh, in this we are doing 3D so section uh, is not needed directly. We go to the create modeling. Directly we will create a volume. Let's say arbitrary. So we uh, will create a block. Block by you have to select block by dimensions. You have to enter the number of its values as per this is the uh, 200. Okay, then in the x direction, so 0 at uh, this point will be 200, 0, uh, comma 0, and here it will be 20 means in the y axis, and in z axis it will be 10. First, uh, this is x1, x1 is 0, this is 200, this is 0, uh, y2 is 20, z2 is 10, okay, it will create it, you can view by rotating it also. In this isometric view, you can see that it's a 3D. Then after, just you have to go to the it's modeling completed. You have to go to meshing, mesh tool. Here we have to do first lines. Select lines. Just four lines. Okay. Here, how many division you want? Go to the manual. Is a 4 plus 4 means uh, every time you have to do a 4 divisions. Uh, this also 4. Okay. Then after. This also means uh, vertical lines 4. But this is the X x-axis dimensions division y-axis and this is z-axis division we are doing in the whole one directly four okay it will do it then after you have to go to mesh x uh, map to mesh you know click the mesh click the volume okay it will create a mesh for other examples just you have to change the number of divisions and for the uh, fine mesh, you have to go for more than 50 divisions or something. And then after, um, okay, then you have to go to the solution and analysis, analysis type, new, static. Define the lows, apply on its structure. First, we will uh, fix it as it is a simply supported. We will fix by about tanks. 
back area and uh, wrote the area as you can go with also uh, notes just you have to select area this this is uh, okay this is not in the x direction we will move to the x direction so zero okay and after again area select this area okay this is fixed by all degree of freedoms okay now force you have to apply in middle so see this is the middle point Notes. now go to the front view and select only this Go to the box first and pick and now uh, right click you will pick all five points here in the point you can see here okay now you have to do um, calculation how much load it will be there so we need to apply 200 uh, 250 250 and 5 notes are there. 250 divided by 5. It will be 50. In each node, it will be able to apply 50. Minus 50. Okay. okay. You can see how it's applied. Now it's completed. You just go to this all. And LN. Okay. Solution is done. Just now you have to go through the pause processor. This is then simply dot define shape define plus and define. Okay, you can see how it looks like in front view. You can see okay. this is the displacement, but you can go nodal solution as you have to go screenshot and screen screenshots. Y component displacement okay you need this in the input of your type displacement okay just you have to put it for the stress first we will change the font size it's very small okay we'll refloat it okay now in this video I will say how to change the title it permits how which Experiments you are doing, you can change on the place of this. Just replot, you will see the name. Okay. After displacement, we will go for stress x component as it is the axial stress. Okay, you will see the axial load is applied and how much axial stress is seen. Okay, this also you can save it by going to the hard copy. Okay, do it okay. It will be saved in your files directory. Okay, this is was the experiment of the simply supported. In next video, I will go with the cantilever. Thank you for watching.